Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a bit bumpy around here. Oh my god. Uh, and there's a lot of people around. Out walking. Enjoying life. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Hey, yeah. Well, Mick, I hope you don't mind being on camera. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to put you on camera. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. <laughs> it's lovely when people recognise you. It really is. Anyway, I'm out on this thing. The suspension doesn't do a lot. I discovered yesterday that uh, I've got a puncture. Well, actually, now I discovered this morning because I went. Well, I thought I'll go out for just for half hour, and the tyre's flat, so I pumped it up just to come out. Ooh, hang on, let's switch it. Right, it's now in eco. Oh, that's better. I can have a break. I've, I've decided with this that I'm going to make it rear-wheel drive. I'm not going to spend thousands of pounds on a scooter that I'll, I won't use very much. I mean, I don't really get enough use out of this. You know, I do I do get use out of it, but nowhere near enough. So, I'm going to make my own. Come on, come on, come on. Up we go. Yeah, this isn't very powerful in eco mode at all. What, 13, 13 kmh. And I've got my other crash helmet on today. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me a bit better. Uh, the other one is done. I've added a filter to it because it was sort of peaking. It was um, it was making a right noise, so I've added a filter to it. Oh, and I'm back at work tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, furlough has ended, so I have got to go back tomorrow. So I'm not very happy. I'm a bit depressed, to be honest. It's just one of those things, you know. You have to do it. Otherwise, you don't get paid. So I thought to come out just for a one last blast on this before I'm dragged to the bloody grindstone forcibly. Yeah, I've got a puncture on this, on the front. Everyone says, oh, you always get punctures on the back. Well, how come I've got a bloody puncture on the front then? So what the plan is, um, and I know somebody, I, I'm sure I saw something not long ago, uh, somebody's actually converted one of these into a rear wheel drive. Uh, but they didn't actually fit a brake on it, so the only braking you've got is regen braking, and the regen braking on this at the minute is pretty shit. If I let go of the throttle, nothing happens. And also in high power mode, when you go flat out, as I showed in the last video, it's actually one or two seconds. One or two seconds, nothing happens. Hello, bird. Ooh, nothing happens for one or two seconds and then suddenly you get all the regen braking and it nearly throws you over the bars so you have to be prepared for it. So I'm not doing any tutorials on any um, on the BMS or anything at the minute purely because it ain't safe. Now for me to say it isn't safe, it ain't safe. Believe me it ain't safe. It's probably something in the M365 tools or whatever it is it just needs setting the firmware needs changing I don't know but it never used to do that when uh, before I put this BMS in let's change to high power here <laughs> not a very good idea it's loading <laughs> shit no eco The tire marks this thing leaves. Anyway, if I make it rear wheel drive, hopefully it will be able to dig in and it won't actually start squirrelling. Uh, now the other thing I'm going to do as well is it's going to be around about, I don't know, between 1.5 and, and 1.8 kilowatts. So I'm going to need another BMS, I think anyway. I might be able to use the one I've got. Who knows? But I'm going to do a conversion video on how to convert these from front to rear wheel drive and put a hell of a lot more power in because that's what I do. Oh yeah, and somebody's noticed I've got a bell. Good, in it? Hopefully this, this lockdown crap, I hope it ends soon because I can't... I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoy being off work like everybody else and being paid for it, but... 
if I'm not uh, if I'm at work I really do want to go out and enjoy my weekends I really do and I want to get back out on my bike again because it's starting to do my head in power power come on grip your f I was thinking the other day about being at work and stuff and nobody likes to go to work unless you doing something you like and I ain't and I was wondering what else I could do um, and they say don't don't mix business with pleasure my, my pleasure is is education I like to educate people um, I mean obviously there's a bit of humor involved but it's not actually intentional it just comes out because I'm naturally not funny so I was wondering I was thinking about what the hell I could do what, what uh, to get me off the grindstone and then I thought why don't I take up YouTubing full time? But obviously to do that I've got to have a firm base. Um, what we got now? 25... 25,000 subscribers I think. I think to do a full time YouTube thing you need at least quarter of a million. So I'm a tenth of the way there. But then that would make my pleasure my business. Then it wouldn't become pleasure. So it wouldn't be enjoyable anymore. So I'm a bit worried about doing that. So maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Who knows? What it must be like to be a duck. Just do that all day. I could do that. No worries. Occasionally someone will come round and feed you bread. Or a small goat. And you'd eat it. And then you'd go on your way. Take a shit. We watch TV. Everyone's happy. Ah, oh, my scooter. I love my scooter. I've been looking at loads and loads of different things, loads of um, loads of different designs, and 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 God knows what. And they're all number one, very expensive. Uh, number two, very heavy. And number three, we'll see number one. I just can't warrant spending. 17, 1800 quid or anything else like that on buying a new scooter um, and people have said why don't you buy this, why don't you buy that believe me, I've looked at everything I've looked at every possibility and I don't know what to do apart from convert this because looking at the hub on the, on the rear I reckon with a bit of support torque arms and god knows what I could get a 2 kilowatt in there and also I could get a 10 inch wheel on the back now obviously you've got to consider things like brakes because obviously the brake, the only brake on this is on the back which is there so I won't have a brake so I'd have to put the brake on the front somehow but then you've got mounting difficulties because of the torsion of the brake so I couldn't have front suspension on it, so we'd have to go back to the solid one, which is, I think it's more st sturdy. See, in eco mode, this has got two modes, as you know. It's got eco and stupid. The S is for stupid, not sport. In eco mode, this is just a nice 11 kilometres an hour, which is about fast miles an hour. And so I want, I want something that will go this speed but it will also go absolutely insane when I need it this is a bit dodgy because there's a corner there where cars come round so I have to put it in a sport I have to sit here or stand here and listen for any cars coming and off we go throttle oh shit Was it cut out? Why did it just turn off? Why did it cut out then? Ha 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 
<laughs> he just has to be done. <laughs> uh, juvenile. I wonder if I got a, a LV low voltage cut off then. Yeah, now I've now I've trimmed it. Look, can you see that? Thirty-eight point one miles an hour. Six hundred and seventy-eight watts. Yeah, I found out that it wasn't actually reading GPS, um, but obviously it bloody well is now. I was thinking it was a bit slow at 25. <laughs> 38. <laughs> Thirty-eight mile an hour on a scooter that's designed to do fifteen and a half miles an hour. It ain't bad, is it? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this one. I know it's a very short one, and there ain't much content. But hey ho, I'm back to work tomorrow. Um, summer's coming. We're going to start enjoying life. We're going to get out there, and we're going to enjoy everything that makes you happy. And we're all going to say bollocks to what anybody else thinks. <laughs>